All right. Um, welcome, everyone, from whatever part of the world you are joining us today. Um, today, we have with us um, Alex, the founder of uh, Beef on Pulse Change. He will be um, telling us more about his project, his vision, and the conceptualization of the project. All right, Alex, please can you introduce yourself and every other team that joins you on this EME? Yeah. Can you hear me good? Absolutely. Awesome. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Brian Alexander. I'm the founder of Beef on Pulse Chain. I've been in crypto since 2016. I've founded multiple projects on Pulse Chain, and I decided to bring Beef on Pulse Chain. It's originally a token that existed on Solana, um, but really had no utility. So I wanted to bring it over to Pulse Chain uh, that I believe is, you know, the future innovation of layer one blockchains and provide an interesting twist to it. Um, you know, Beef does pay out rewards in the PRC20 copy of wrapped Bitcoin, which I believe right now it's currently sitting at $250. And uh, it rewards roughly around 10% of each transaction to holders. Um, so you have, you know, the mean power of Beef, which is a derivative of Pepe, and you also have rewards with the token that are paid out in Wrap Bitcoin on Pulse. Just a little bit about the project and, and myself. You guys are welcome to ask any questions that you have. All right, thank you very much for that brief um, introduction. So, uh, can you tell us uh, what brought about the uh, conceptualization of your project and the um, for how many months were you able to put the conception in place before you launch? Yeah, so like I mentioned just a second ago, um, Thief was a failed project on Solana, and I saw an opportunity to bring that over to Pulse Chain. Um, you know, a lot of memes on Pulse Chain have had great success, and, you know, a big meme um, that has been around for a while is obviously Pepe. So, well, um, it was a derivative of Pepe, and I also wanted to include rewards, right? Because most memes have no utility. They don't really provide any value except, you know, just speculation. So, the token was actually launched within, within 24 hours. Um, you know, I have really great devs, really great team. So, we were able to put the website together. We were able to launch the smart contract, test it on testnet, and launch it pretty much within 24 hours. Um, yeah, so so that that's kind of where the concept came from. All right. So, um, very quickly before I uh, continue with the... Uh Amy. Please, guys, um, Alex was so generous to uh, give uh, a giveaway of $100. So, to as many of you that would like to participate in the giveaway, please prepare your questions. And I want you to also uh, go ahead and buy into the project. I know some of you have already bought into the project um, because, again, quite a number of you sent me a message um, about the project. Showing me your uh, transaction ID and all of that. Very cool. So please go over to the uh, to the to the Telegram group and the uh, buy page to go get your bag into the project. So um, Alex, um, what percentage of the token did you allocate for the team working with you or for yourself or you yourself? What percent of the token did you allocate to yourself? Or maybe for that, for the uh, development of the project, marketing, and all of that. So just give us a little breakdown of the token knowledge. Sure. So essentially, um, myself and the team, 70% of the supply um, was allocated for the liquidity pool. And that liquidity pool was burned forever. Um, you know, we allocated roughly around fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of our own funds and uh, provided liquidity on multiple pairs on the Pulse pair and the Wrap Bitcoin pair. And then we proceeded to 
burn those pairs, right? So if you see now, um, there's roughly around like 60, almost 70,000 in liquidity, and that is locked, right? So nobody has access to those funds. Um, so now, now you have thick LPs there. Um, 20 to 25% was allocated for airdrops, which we airdropped to influencers on Pulse Chain, um, which as far as I've seen, they have not sold their allocations, they've actually bought more, uh, which is great. Uh, you know, these are influencers that have been in the community pretty much from the beginning. So 20% was allocated uh, to them. And then the rest was allocated for the team and for marketing. All right. Um, awesome. So um, I'd like to know what are the major utilities for this uh, token? Well, you know, beef is a meme token. Um, most meme tokens don't have any utility. Uh, this is a reflections token. So you obviously have the speculative value of a meme, and you also have rewards. So it's a fork of an existing project on Pulse Chain, uh, which is Die Hard, which pays PDI rewards. So there's a 10% buy and sell tax on every transaction, which is rewarded to holders. Uh, so far, uh, there's been around 2.5 million or a little bit more than that in volume. Um, so you could do the math. Roughly around $250,000 in rewards has been paid out um, to holders, which is absolutely phenomenal. So re really the utility is the fact that you get to earn rewards, right? You can A, a good narrative that you can kind of think of is kind of like you know, mining Bitcoin, right? The more beef you hold, the more wrapped BCC you're going to earn. Um, and as the volume increases, then also your rewards increase as well because it, it is based on volume, right? So you're able to earn an undervalued asset, which, you know, obviously wrapped BTC on Ethereum, you know, it's worth the same price as regular BTC. But now you have a speculative undervalued asset on Pulse Chain, which is worth only two hundred and fifty dollars. Now we, we can't really accurately say what Rap BTC is going to go to, but you know, let's say it goes up to two thousand dollars or twenty thousand dollars. It's very possible. Um, you know, it's a very thick liquidity pool. A lot of people are speculating on Rap BTC. Richard Hart posted about Rap BTC today. So those are all indicators that you know you have a bullish speculative asset that could potentially appreciate. So on top of the fact that you're earning rewards, uh, those rewards might appreciate exponentially if you're able to hold long enough. All right. So um, for the reward now, can I reinvest my reward? Absolutely. You could definitely reinvest your rewards back into beef. Uh, like I said, the more beef you own, the more rewards you're going to be entitled to. So, yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, the rewards come automatically into your wallet. There's no need to claim. Uh, so, you know, every 30 minutes or so, those rewards pop up in your wallet. Um, and then you could, you could see them there and you could do whatever you want with them. All right. Thank you very much. So, um... Can you just tell us um, some of the sustainable um, way by which we can or you aim to increase the buy volume of this token? Can you say that again? I couldn't I couldn't hear you too well. Yeah, I'm talking about um, the buy volume. You know, basically, the more buyers that comes into the project, the more um, the value. Of the token tends to increase this, and the more I'm able to have as a as an investor. So I want to know what are the sustainable plans you have for marketing or yeah. increasing the buy, buy volume. For sure. So as of right now, um, you know the project has only been around for you know two three days. 
So the plans moving forward would obviously be, you know, paid marketing. Uh, obviously, a big part of that is also building a community um, that is passionate about the project and is passionate about the rewards. Uh, you know, there's already a huge community around uh, the, the Pulse version of Rat Bitcoin. So being able to leverage those communities and collaborate together, uh, you know, in marketing efforts, th those really are the things that we're focused on right now, continuing to build the community, um, having the community, uh, you know, chill on Twitter, um, doing more AMAs, obviously, to educate more people about beef on Pulse. Uh, and also some paid marketing efforts as well. Uh, the team is considering um, launching an NFT project in the future. That's still up for debate, but um, that may be a potential um, way to uh, bring in some buy volume because you know if we do decide to do an NFT project, it would be minted in beef. So you would have to buy beef in order to mint uh, the NFT, and obviously that would increase the volume exponentially but we still haven't decided on that but th those are just some of the things that we're focused on right now to increase the community and the buy volume all right um still on the marketing issue do you have any other uh, partnership with influencers or intentions with uh, influencers to help um give visibility and pull in more buyers into the project well, being that the project is fairly new, um, you know, we're still still working on collaborating with different communities uh, and different marketing teams to expand on that. But that is something that we're working on. All right. So um, my next question to you now will be, um, for those working with you on this, uh, on this project, talking about the the team behind the scene, do you have any um, reward system or a way of uh, paying them or they are just like every other investors that bought into the project? Sorry, you're breaking up a little bit. There's a little bit of static on my end. Oh, you mean you didn't hear me? Yeah, I, I wasn't able to hear your question. Okay. So I said, what is the reward system you have in place for the team working behind the scene for the project? I know a lot of development are coming up, like rightly mentioned about the NFT that you are trying to incorporate into the project. So uh, what reward system do you have or do you prepare for the team working behind? Or are they those? Are they are they not my investors? Like every other investor buying into the project, or you are paying them? Yeah, I mean, definitely the developers, you know, get paid. That's something that we negotiate, you know, privately. Um, you know, some of them want to get paid in beef. Others want to get paid in pulse. Um, others want to get paid in cash. Right? It's a, it's a pretty big team, so. Um, you know, it just depends on, on what they prefer. Uh, and then obviously for marketing, um, you know, typically we, we prefer to pay marketing team in Pulse. So that way, you know, we can avoid anybody dumping on the community. So t typically any, anybody that gets rewarded for participating in the growth of the project would, would get paid in Pulse Chain. All right. Thank you very much. So... For all these payments, are they coming from your own courses or, or from the project? Like, do you pay them, is it from your personal money or from the project? It, it's straight from my pocket, brother. Um, you know, just a little bit about myself. I've been in the Hex and Pulse Chain community pretty much from the beginning. Um, you know, I was in Hex from the beginning, you know, four plus years ago. Um, when it was sub penny before the post chain sacrifice, but before the parabolic rise, um, you know, I was in hex and, you know, I'm a post chain, uh, day one sacrificer. Um, you know, I'm definitely in the two 
in the in the top one thousand to two thousand wallets that sacrificed. You know, I, I made a huge sacrifice for Pulse Chain and Pulse X. So, yeah, and I've also had the opportunity to to make a lot of money um, since Pulse Chain has has launched. You know, with the different projects and opportunities that have come up on Pulse Chain. So any any funds allocated towards paying the team or paying for marketing, it, it comes from my own pocket. Um, it does not come from any value extracted from from the project. It comes straight from from myself. All right, thank you very much for that transparency. Uh, the reason why I do ask this question is because you know sometimes we we bought into projects where um, the the project owner tends to pull out pull it pull out pull out huge mm -hmm. funds from the project to you know for marketing and all of that and ends it does not really bring back a huge volume for measuring to the to the fund pull away from the project and it tends to make the project uh, uh, die down. So you know things like this um, we we need to, to know about it. All right, so um, my next question is that: Do you mind sharing a little bit with a little, a little, a little bit of information with us about the NFT that is coming up? I know you said there are, there are plans; we um, are still working on it. But do you mind sharing a little, a little with us? For sure. So, like I mentioned earlier, it's not set in stone right we, we have not decided whether we're going to do an nft or not it's something that you know we're really weighing out to see if it makes sense um if it's something ideal for the community uh if we do decide to launch an nft um it would be minted in beef obviously this would be very bullish because you would only be able to mint it by buying beef um and you know it would be just like any standard nft there, there wouldn't really um be anything too special about it there would be 10,000 unique uh nfts that you could mint with beef and list on the marketplace so that that is yet to be decided whether we're going to do an nft project or not if we do decide to do it um then there would be 2,000 unique nfts um that will be launched and of course obviously there would be beef based um that makes sense all right but great so um my next question would be um question around the security of the project however before i go into that uh guys if you have any questions to ask my dms is open please kindly push in my pushing your question into my dm and to a few of you that would love to ask your voice question please ensure your mic or phone is in good order there are no noise and uh, clarity. So, uh, Alex, can you tell us, is the project, is the audit, is the audit dead? So, no, there, there is no audit, um, and but the code is verified. You can verify that on Pulse Scan, or you can use Gold Pulse, which is um, the new Explorer that, that was released by the Gold Pulse team. So, it is a verified contract. Um, the code is immutable. The contract is renounced, um, and and is very secure. It, it is a fork of an already existing project on Pulse Chain um, that is very reputable. So, but we have not oh. paid an auditing team to to do an audit on the contract. So you mean you, you don't? You mean you didn't have plans to 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 audit? it? As of, as of right now, no, we don't have any plans to, to do an audit um, for it. it. You know, it's just a standard rewards token, but the contract is open for anyone to verify. So if you want to go read the contract, take a look at it, it's a verified contract. So, um, you know, if you're a dev, you can look at the contract and take a look at it for yourself. All right. Um, thank you very much. So, you, Alex, please... Are you docs? Absolutely. Oh, so how do we provide? 
I'm, I'm sorry, what? How do we verify if you have dogs? Well, I'll just go to my Twitter page. Um, my Twitter page is at the great OX Alexander the Great. Fully okay. docs. I've been in the post chain community for quite some time. Um, yeah, I, I've launched multiple projects on, on post chain. No expectations, uh, which was a meme token. Uh, Caviar, which is a, a reward token that I collaborated with the Pulsalorian team on, uh, which pays hex rewards. And um, and now Beef, which is a, a meme token that pays rap BTC rewards. Wow. That's very fun. So um, from, from launch, how many eggs has this project did? Uh, I would have to let me take a look here. I measured that. But I can tell you right now. One second. Let's see here. Just give me a few seconds so I could take a look here at the chart. No problem, buddy. Tell you exactly how much it's done so far. All right, let's see. So, all right, yes, yeah, so, and and there's a great buying opportunity right now, obviously, because you know you had a lot of the early buyers that have already capitulated and sold their bags. So if you bought at launch. Um, and you sold at the all-time high. It did around a ten thousand percent gain from launch, ten thousand five hundred percent. Wow, ten thousand five hundred percent. Right. So yeah, uh, uh, all right. So right, right now. So currently now. Do you have any taxes uh, for buy in and out? Ten percent buy, ten percent sell. That's how the that's what allows you know the holders to to maximize their rewards. Um, so yeah, there's a ten percent buy tax and a ten percent sell tax. Exactly the same way that Die Hard works. Um, you know, which is a project that pays in, in P Die. And um, it's it's the same exact um, same exact functions. So, for example, if there is you know ten ten thousand dollars in in volume, right, and you own one percent of the supply, well, you can do the math, right? Ten thousand dollars. You you have one percent of the supply. You make you make a hundred dollars in rewards. Very simple. Can you still hear me? Oh, sorry. I was uh, kind of uh, distracted. <laughs> no worries. So yeah. So uh, like I gave an example. If if there's ten thousand dollars of volume, and you own one percent of the supply, right? You're getting ten percent of all the transactions that that are occurring on that. So you would effectively make a hundred dollars in rewards off of your holdings and then if the volume increases then also your rewards increase uh, if the token that you're earning the rewards and appreciates then also you know your rewards appreciate as well um, you know literally just last night you know Richard posted about rap Bitcoin on pulse and it seems like he's very bullish on it it's all speculation we don't know what rap bitcoin is going to do on pulse but there's a lot of potential right i mean 
we're, we're talking about a wrapped version of Bitcoin that has an even more limited supply, that has thick LP, and you have an undervalued layer one that only has 15,000 daily users, right? Like, Postchain is just getting started. I don't think people realize how big all of these things could be. Um, if Wrap Bitcoin does numbers, right, if, if it goes to 2,000, 20,000, or anywhere within those ranges, it's going to pull up beef with it um, because they're tied together in, in the liquidity, right? So you, ha so you have beef, you know, paired with all these different bullish pairs like Pulse um, and Wrap BTC, right? So then you have a lot of arbitrage and naturally, you know, those pairs are going to rise together. Sorry, um, my network does get uh, disconnected right now. I'm really sorry for that. So last night, um, the network was trying to fix the network. So that being said, uh, there's a question in my DM that I'd like to ask you. And this investor wants to know, you want to know um, what are your efforts to build more... Uh, around the project you know i think what he mean literally is that you said it's a fox of another project it's a fox of another project that you, are, you already worked on so now for this now how do you intend to build around it how do i intend to build around the project well you know yeah. that that, that that changes, right? You know, every single day, um, you know, we take a look at possibilities. Um, you know, that what I mentioned earlier with the NFTs, that's one way that, you know, we can bring volume to the beef community, bring more eyes to beef, right? Because you, you have people that are NFT enthusiasts that might not know about beef, right? But they might be interested in beef NFTs. And then that could bring more eyes on beef. Um, but you know, different ideas are always thrown out by myself and the team and, you know, things change on, on a daily basis in terms of what we want to implement as of right now, I wouldn't be able to really tell you, um, you know, because we haven't decided whether we want to do the NFTs or not, but if we do, that would be one way that, um, we would bring more eyes to the community and, and to beef itself. I mean, it's only a couple of days old, um. You know, we spend up the project literally within 24 hours. So, as time goes on, um, you know, we will determine what can be done to bring more value to the community and to the project itself. Re really, really, the, 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 pur the purpose of beef, right, is to, one, you know, it's a derivative of Pepe, right, which we know is obviously a huge meme um, on Ethereum. So it, it's something that did not exist on Pulse Chain, right? So it is something new when it comes to Pulse. Um, you know, obviously you have the entertainment aspect of the memes, right? People love memes and they're very speculative on them. Um, Beef has a very thick liquidity pool, despite the fact that, you know, it, it's, it's down from launch. So... Um, anybody, any whale or anybody with a significant amount of capital uh, could really send this thing flying if they really truly decided to because uh, the liquidity cannot be pulled. It's literally burned forever. So that that's very bullish. And um, if people look at the liquidity pools and see what, what the token is paired with, then they'll if they understand liquidity pools and Hart's Law, then they understand that this is a very potentially bullish asset. But it's all speculation, right? Memes are, at the end of the day, um, very speculative, and it's it's all fun, right? So it's just to provide that layer of entertainment for the community um, and just have a speculative asset that is not worthless, right? You're, you're earning rewards while you're holding this extremely volatile meme that, could drop 90% or it could go up 10,000%, right? 
So at, at least you're incentivized to hold the token. Whereas most memes, you know, you don't you don't get anything, right? Mm-hmm. You just get the memes, you, you get the speculative asset, but there's no incentive really to hold. So once people are fed up with it, they get rid of the token, they dump their bags. Here, people have an incentive to hold the token and to buy more because you're earning, like I said, an undervalued asset on Pulse Chain that itself could be extremely bullish. I mean, just yesterday when Richard Hart tweeted about it, um, you know, it, it did a 2x pretty much overnight. Um, it, it's down now. Obviously, people took profits, but it went from $250 to, you know, almost $500, um, a little bit over 400 right? So if you were earning rewards from day one with beef, those rewards essentially doubled overnight, right? Which is huge for, for beef holders, obviously. So th- there's a lot of speculation with this asset. It is a risky, volatile asset. So, you know, I encourage anybody that is looking at it to take it with a grain of salt and not in- invest more than you can afford to lose because it is a meme token, guys. So, um, you know, I wouldn't be going all in on this, but that's up f- for you to decide. It's full transparency. Hey, good morning, guys. All right. So, um, this invest. All right. Uh, please, can you go ahead and ask your question? I'm not. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Please ask your question. Yeah, I uh, I uh, saw the project come out. Uh, I invested, and uh, the one weird thing, weird, I'm saying, is because I've never seen a, a liquidity um, um, so big uh, compared to the uh, market cap, um, which is extremely bullish. Uh, that allows people to exit and enter. Um, a lot uh, with less uh, friction than most uh, most cryptocurrencies. I just wanted to ask, if, uh, why why would the liquidity be so thick on this one? Is that an incentive as well, or is that just something that the team decided to do from the start? Yeah, that's a great question, man. So we understand that a lot of meme coins can be very illiquid, right? So obviously that affects everybody, right? Because if you want to exit, right, if you make a substantial amount of profit, well, it doesn't matter if the token is a liquid, right? <laughs> and then also the same for the buy pressure, right? If, if you have big players that want to come in, uh, what, what can they really do if there's only 5K of liquidity or 10K in liquidity? You can't, can't really do much with that, right? Um, so it kind of really limits it limits the, the um potential of the project so the the team and myself actually we we put up our own funds uh, we, we we put up roughly you know collectively around twenty thousand dollars for the initial lp and we set up uh multiple liquidity pools the main pools being the the rat btc pair um which is the rewards token and then you know pls so right now there's like fifteen thousand in liquidity for the pls pair and i believe last time i checked around 45 or forty-seven thousand uh in the rat btc pair um so so yeah that we we provide we wanted to have a thick lp so that big yeah. players can come in and and send the price up and then for the people that do make profit right they're able to exit um you know and and not make you know su- such a uh, a damage on the chart you know and and not have to endure so much slippage as well so that that's, that was uh, something calculated that's it that's incredible um i you know i'm i'm not new to the space but i'm new in terms of uh buying and selling right when i first got into this market at way back when I wasn't buying or selling. I just bought a bunch of tokens and I waited like everybody else. I didn't know what a market top was and I lost everything. This time around, it's completely different. Um, I'm buying these tokens with large amounts of money. You know, like in my, in my opinion, that's my budget. That's a lot of money. And when I go into a project, sometimes on Solana or other blockchains, 
it's extremely difficult to buy things for five thousand dollars like you get the slippage is ridiculous and you're not getting in my opinion you're not getting uh your value you can if you go in small chunks so you sit there for three hours and you try to buy a hundred dollars worth of this token for three hours you'll get what you're asking for but now i'm beginning to understand why this liquidity pool is so thick um there's a lot of other other projects on pulse chain that are very very close to what you're doing and when i go in and out of these projects it doesn't it uh, there's not much slippage you're getting when it shows how much money you're trading for for the other for the other token there's not much difference uh so i'm beginning to understand uh how big this can really be uh like you said it, it only takes a few big players to send the price up once you get green candles again that's just going to attract a lot of different people so anyways thanks yeah. for having me up and answering my question uh i really like this project i love the meme too it's hilarious um it looks good uh you guys are doing a great job you've been alive for two days so um and i saw the fun came out like on, on tg there um that really sucks now there's like just bad apples out there but just disregard man move on keep building and uh yeah i'm with you guys awesome man i appreciate that feedback you're more than welcome to reach out to me in the dms as well if you have any questions cheers All right, thank you very much for that uh, awesome uh, question from you. So um, there is a question in my DM right now. And okay. this investor wants to know what are the, um, do you have any um, context buy that is coming up or context buy? Do you have any context buy that is coming up for the project? Do, do I have any? I'm sorry, I, I couldn't. I couldn't understand your question. I'm sorry. Do you have a context by um, engagement for the investors? Like, um, you know, there is common thing now that you do uh, IS buyers uh, within a specific period of time. You know, we've not we've not really had about the context by. Uh, I I understand. So so you're asking me if 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 we're going to be doing any giveaways anytime soon? No, 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 no. You want to know, do you have a context by uh, um, competition? So we have not done that yet, but we do plan on doing multiple competitions and giveaways, um, you know, for, you know, biggest, biggest buyer or, um, you know, best meme, best shill post on Twitter. Um, so yeah, that we're going to have a lot of that coming up to, to keep the engagement high and to keep people involved. Um, so yeah, that, that's definitely going to be coming up. I, I do have some tokens that I have to distribute to the community um, today for um, a, for posts that they, they made yesterday, right? It was a, a shilling competition. So definitely more, more contests will be coming up here within the next couple of days all right so um alex um do you do you um work full-time this investor wants to know do you work full-time as a crypto uh owner or you have some other circular job that you do i think the idea of this question is that you just want to know so that there will be no pressure on um, um project owner trying to play funny on the project. I think that's the main idea about this question. Yeah, no, that, that's a great question. So yeah, full transparency. Um, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm a CEO of my own company. i uh, been self-employed for as long as I can remember now. Um, you know, and I'm not just involved in cryptocurrency. I'm in the insurance space. I'm a retirement planner, financial specialist um i do e-commerce i build amazon stores i do a little bit of everything but um you know cryptocurrency is something that absolutely fascinates me i, I would love to get into cryptocurrency full time um i've been in crypto since 2016 and um you know i, I really try my best to dedicate as much time as i can to growing the community and growing the projects that i'm involved with 
um, you know, that can get difficult at times. So, you know, we do have to pay moderators and, and pay others to, uh, to keep the community engaged while I'm away. Um, yeah, because I, I do have other ventures and things that, that I'm involved with, um, other investments, other, other entrepreneurial ventures and, and things that, that I do on a daily basis. So, um, you know, the time that I do dedicate from, to the project, um, you know, it's substantial still, you know, I, I mean, it, it is almost like I am doing it full time, but, you know, sometimes I can't be there to answer questions right away, um, you know, because I'm, I'm doing something else. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. All right, please. You are listening to me right now. I've heard um, Alex respond to your question from the standpoint of uh, transparency. So if you still have... Uh, if you still have any other question, please, you can do well to put up your hand and ask. But if you are satisfied with the response, then no problem. So, Alex, um, I want you to uh, also, uh, perhaps, you have any other thing in mind that you would, let the com you would like for the community to know about the project? And then, or if you have any other intention, any plan in view, uh, can you just please go ahead and, and tell the community? Yeah, I, I don't have much else to say. I mean, you guys had great questions. I think we covered pretty much everything. Um, like I said, again, guys, you know, uh, this is a meme token. It, it is extremely volatile, as you can see. You know, we, we are down significantly from the launch. So if you do plan on getting involved, um, you know, me personally, uh, you know, as a financial advisor, I would never encourage anybody to invest more than what they're willing to lose. Uh, you know, we have to have realistic expectations. So I'm not going to tell you that this is going to do a 10x, 100x, 1000x um, from here. Um, you know, this is a speculative asset. So take it with a grain of salt. Uh, determine for yourself, you know, what's reasonable for your, for your situation if you do want to get involved. Um, and, you know, come be a part of the community. You know, join the Telegram group. You know, we're really looking for, for people that are creative. So if anybody has a background in animation or in design, um, you know, we're looking for those people to be in the community to continue to make memes and make funny videos and just keep the engagement high, um, you know, because this is a meme token. So, you know, posting on Twitter and all of this stuff, it's great. But ultimately, you know, what makes a meme powerful is the engagement that we're able to get right from the marketing and with a meme token right the main marketing is posting memes so if we the better the memes we have the more videos we have the more creators we have in the community the higher the engagement is going to be the more people are going to laugh at the memes and the more people are going to get involved right it's like you know you have other awesome memes on pulse chain as well like you know dick with butt and you know all, the, all these funny memes that that are popping up left and right and you know the reason they're successful is because one they have thick liquidity pools um transparent founders and also as well they have great memes and great creators that really get involved with the communities so that that's really all i have to say if anybody has any last questions you know feel free to ask but i, I don't really have any more to add Hello, hello everyone. What's up? Yes, uh, I have a question, please. Yes, sir. So, as we know about uh, marketing, it's so important these days for any project. So, can you share with us uh, the keys for the marketing plan for next two months? Yeah. So, like, like I said, guys, right? Like, um, when it comes to marketing, there are several ways that we can go about it. So. Obviously, um, right now I'm, I'm trying to work with, um, I'm trying to get in contact with the Gold Pulse team so that we can get the project uh, listed on Gold Pulse, right? A majority of people that use Pulse Chain, right, they use Gold Pulse, right? So having the project visible there could potentially, you know, bring thousands of eyes to the project that don't know about it currently. Um, you know, we would like to have future AMAs as well with other groups of investors so that more people can learn about the project. So definitely going to be looking to get together with um, different creators, 
uh, you know, potentially make uh, some YouTube videos as well about beef. Um, you know, and then also I'm looking to collaborate with some creators, like I said, to really bring the meme power because, look, at the end of the day, um, I could post a million posts on Twitter that's going to get old, guys. Like, re really what brings volume and what brings excitement to any meme community is just the fact that you have good memes, right? It it's a meme token, right? Th this is not a, a super advanced DeFi project that, that needs, you know, uh, an explainer video and all of this crap, right? Like, it's a meme token, so ultimately, the best marketing is going to be the community getting out there on Twitter, shilling the project, but most importantly, creating memes, right? So that that's really what the plan is going forward, right? So just to recap, you know, we, obviously we want to do more AMAs, do some paid marketing as well, um, you know, so that other communities like Solana and Ethereum and other communities can hear about beef on Pulse Chain and, and come and get involved you know, bridge over and, and, and be able to be a part of the community, um, which also brings more eyes to Pulse Chain. And, um, and just ultimately working with creators to make good videos, good memes, and to expand on the artwork. Um, that's really going to be the best form of marketing for, for this type of project. I hope that answers your question, man. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you, that was great. But uh, I have another question for you, if I can ask. Sure. So I my second question about uh, percentage buyback. So how much percentage buyback the team will do after launch? So the, so, do you hear me? Yeah. So so the it, you know if you're monitoring um, you know what's been going on, uh, the team has actually already been doing buybacks. Um, there's no specific percentage that, that we plan on doing, right? At the end of the day, anything that we do, nobody should have any expectation of profit from the work of others. I know that sounds cliche, but that's just the reality. Nobody should expect the team to do anything for them, but at the end of the day, um, the team has been redeploying capital from rewards into the project. Uh, to, you know, attempt to pump up the price. But um, th th yeah, there's no specific buyback percentage that, that we have allocated for for that. Um, but, you know, to answer your question, yeah, we, we have redeployed capital back into the project and continue to add to the liquidity pools um, and also, you know, buy back the token as well. Okay, okay, that's great. Thank you for answering me. I wish you good luck and all success in your project. Thanks. Thank you for your questions. Does anybody else have any other questions? Please, you can go ahead and ask your question. I have unmuted you. I see somebody with his hand up, so go ahead and ask your question. I've unmuted you. Unmute yourself, buddy. Hello, yeah. guys. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? Hey, what's going on? So, I have a question. Uh, can I ask? Sure. Uh, okay, so what makes your project different and similar than other projects? It's a meme token. Um, I don't think that there's really any, you know, any any meme token that is launched on Pulse Chain. The same question could be asked, right? Like, what makes Dick with Butt different? What makes Pepe on Pulse different? What makes whatever meme token, right? It's a meme token. At the end of the day. What makes it different and what can make it stand out would be the community, the artwork, the creators. Um, I think, obviously, most memes on Pulse Chain don't pay rewards. Most memes on Pulse Chain, to be quite honest with you, they're just a big crock of crap. 
Um, it's just a speculative token with a logo, right? Anybody can go on gopulse.com and, and make a PRC20 token and slap a logo on it and and launch a liquidity pool. But at the end of the day, um, this is the only token that exists on Pulse Chain that pays rewards in RAT BTC. So I think that's obviously a huge competitive advantage because like I mentioned earlier in the AMA, uh, RAT BTC in itself is an extremely bullish asset imagine being able to buy bitcoin at 250 dollars right now that's kind of a i would say a similar opportunity right and it's all speculative but at the end of the day if you do have you know like for example um solana has a million daily users we only have fifteen thousand daily users so what happens when that 10x is to 150,000 and then to a million well it's safe to say that a lot of people could m put money into RAT BTC and they could send the price flying. And if you've been holding beef this whole time, earning rewards in RAT BTC, you could have yourself a little a little gold mine there. Um, like I said, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars in rewards have been paid out to beef holders. Uh, that's huge. So I would say really that's what makes us stand out is the fact that uh, you know we have a great community. Um, you know, good artwork, and we're the only ones that are offering these rewards. I hope that makes sense. Yes, yes, you're answering me very well. Thank you, and uh, I wish you all success in your project, and I wish you to make a lot of money, you too. Thanks. Thanks, brother. I hope everybody makes money. I appreciate the questions. Anyone else? Is anybody down have any, any other question to ask? All right. Um, there is a DM that came in now. I think he brought into the project two days ago. So it was said that the project there were um, 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 continuous selling and jumping on the project. You know, so you just want to know what are the causes for that because, like, there were consistent selling of the token. So you want to know what could be responsible for that. Yeah, that, that's a good question. That's fair. So, unfortunately, <laughs> this is something that it's just not only applicable to beef, but it's really applicable to a lot of meme tokens and other tokens that launch on Pulse Chain, you know, a lot of people aren't aware, uh, but there are there are private groups out there with thousands of people in them that scope out for new contracts that are being deployed. Right, as soon as a liquidity pool is formed, or as soon as a contract is deployed and, and the contract is is verified, right, you have groups of people that are sniping these projects. Right, so unfortunately. Um, I think something like 900 people were able to scan the contract before it launched and that definitely had a big effect. You, you had a lot of people that sniped the project, unfortunately, um, so that did cause a, a big sell-off event. But uh, the good news is that a majority of those snipers have been rinsed out and have capitulated. And they're already out of the game. So now this leaves room for, for new people that want to get in to pretty much get in at the bottom. I, I can't see us going much lower than what we are now, uh, to be honest with you. We've been hovering around this level, um, you know, the last couple of days. So right now the market cap, uh, you know, went up to $2 million market cap, right? So that's another thing, you know, when, when you have people that snipe these projects, you know, and, and make a 10,000% gain, they're not holding on to their bags, right? Um, and nobody cares about other people in crypto, unfortunately. So you do have malicious people out there that are only out for themselves, that are greedy. Um, and that's just unfortunate. But, um, yeah, a lot of those people have been rinsed out. They've, they've capitulated their bags. They're out. So at this point, you know, I wouldn't see much sell pressure 
moving forward if we're able to make a rise back up. <clears throat> All right, um, thank you very much, Alex, for all of the questions you answered and um, for the transparency and the sincerity of our uh, show. I'm busy and making it more than an hour now. We have been on this project. And guys, I'd like to, to know that Alex is a full time uh, um, CEO of the Sony company, the company. Uh, Alex, do you tell us where you, your country of residence? Yeah, can you hear me? Sure, sure, I can hear you. Yeah, so, so I'm in the U.S. All right. So you can all hear Alex. Alex um, resides in the U.S. So um, Alex is uh, fully docked on the Twitter page. And please, guys, I know quite a number of you, you've been me uh, two days ago, I think, about your bought into the project. Yeah, hold your bag. The more you buy, the more your reward goes up. All right? Uh, this is a meaning point, and uh, this is not a financial advice to anybody. Please do well to do your own research before you buy into the project. All right? Uh, but you could uh, pretty know that uh, as soon as the BTC uh, admin is done, we are going to know what happens there. There is going to be a massive rally up. And uh, guys, you want to invest your money in a secure project like uh, B from Porsche. You know, I, I, I personally have secured my position on B. Right? Since the very first day I, I was told about the uh, project, I bought a couple of uh, B. And uh, after this day, I'm still going to buy more. Because again, the more you buy, the more you buy. So guys, so guys, hold your bag. Um, Alex, um, is there any closing word from you? That's it. Uh, I appreciate everybody's questions. I encourage everybody to come into the Telegram group chat and get involved, ask questions. You can DM me if you have any questions uh, that weren't answered here in the AMA. But yeah, we would love to have you guys as a part of the community. Um, if you're a creator, if you're somebody that knows how to make artwork, that can do animation videos, shoot me a DM. Um, you know, I'm willing to pay you. So, you know, if, if you do good artwork, uh, just reach out um, because, you know, we really need that in the community. So, yeah, I hope to see everybody in the Telegram group chat. I do have to get going. I only had an hour allocated for the AMA, um, but I, I do have some other business I need to take care of. But I really appreciate everybody's questions and I hope. Um, you know, it was transparent and that I answered everybody's questions. All right. I'll see you guys in the Telegram group chat. Yeah, thank you very much, Alex. Uh, there are about um, 51 uh, participants on the VC at the time when I check. So, um, I think we should uh, pretty be sure that uh, there is going to be more uh, to come into the project. And if you have any development in the, in the future that you want the committee to know about, please always send to me. I will always post it on the channel for everyone to have a look of it. Uh, if there are any updates, just let me know. I am part of the project already, and I'm holding my position. Okay. Um, we keep in touch. Uh, even though there are quite a number of people that messaged me that wanted to host you to come for you to come and talk to their community, I hope you will give them um, uh, a space. Or oh, is there any upcoming AMA that you have in the future? Not, not so far. This is the first AMA we've done uh, since the project is so new. But um, yeah, anybody that wants to have us for an AMA. Um, can reach out so uh, and then we'll be reaching out to other communities like I said we're going to try to get some content creators to, to make YouTube videos so 
yeah, hopefully there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. And um, we're, we're always open to ideas as well. So anybody that does want to share. All right. No problem. Um, uh, like I said, three uh, uh, community owners, they have reached out to me and they want to host you. So I uh, will just make the connection with you so that you can uh, negotiate with them. Um, like I said, uh, the bad world is a community. We don't charge for AMA. We only charge, uh, you only pay or give any avoidable amount of, uh, uh, of uh, giveaway to our community member, which Alex was generous enough to give us $100. All right. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us today. Uh, God bless.